like if they were more consistent about the outlines of their characters and the the color choices of the the stage you know like if you made it so that all stages had you know varying like or all characters had you know solid black outlines like most most anime games or something then you you open it yourself up to be able to do a lot more with the stages um because now you're no longer really worried about blend like blending things in or if you are worried about bl things blending in it's a more consistent you you just have one color palette to really to work black work with which is that black outline versus doing stuff like this where you have like these essentially white outlines and it's like well that's gonna you know blend in with a whole different kind like set of colors or whatever and now you're never going to be able to, to to work with both so anyways larlet the tire connoisseur i forgot about that oh seeing the seeing the tire come out yeah yeah you know, i just recently learned that you can hit the tire yeah, that's right. You can smack it out of it. That's something that when Toha was still doing me, was so good about doing combos that also allowed him to to um knock the tire out. Like it was, yeah. it was beautiful to watch. Yeah, UCIT and I going back to real. Punching the tire with the dead butt though. Yeah, that great combo choice out of uh, UCIT, you know, getting right on over that tire again. That time, decided to take the trade. Yeah, I mean, he gets the corner position anyway, it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Blarlet was in no position to really challenge it. The whiff punish that tackle is kinda godlike. A little bit, a little bit. Oh, oh, oh no, you can't be a reversal that uses the side switch but ultimately dies. Right? He just fucking did it. And then the EX headbutt on the V shift. You, know, you can't fucking do just that. All outs everywhere. Yeah, he's uh He's like, you think I didn't just get finished beating up some Abigail? You can do that nonsense. Brutal. All right, here we go. Game two. So running in there, but you know the double hit out of the crush spirit. I think Larlay could have threaded that needle and got something in there, but yeah, it's, it's UCIT that's getting in there right now. Now, 84 seconds. Abigail's in the corner, getting beat up on. Yeah, no be sure. There. Double hit. Beating out the armor again. Gets him with the shimmy shim. God, that hurts. Brutal. He is not playing around. Yeah, this is... He's warmed up. He's no longer got Ryu on his mind. He's got all death, all destruction. Ready to go. Sees Blarlad sitting there scared. Doesn't know what the dude... Little Mike are walking to throw. Just like that, it's like you can't tall the fucking tire like that. Oh, there we go, Misha. Get it, get your fears out of there. Well, ready for the flip. Punishes with the crash on this one. Had enough of Barlet's dash pressure. Oh, let's see, big chance. Big old reset right there. Right, what's it gonna be? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it gets thrown. Not enough to kill though. Oh, goes for the armor and the jump out going over the flip's gonna do it. UCIT going up two to one or two zero. Two zero. Larlad's struggling a bit right now. Yeah. We'll see what he's got up his sleeve. Yeah, what do you think needs to change? Yeah, because it I'm, seems like UCIT has just been dominating. I think overall, Blarlet's defensive decisions have been whack. Um, like, once UCIT gets in, like, it, 
the round's essentially been over. Because at no point in time do I think, like, Larled gets away from it, you know? That's like, true. he survives, gets the neutral back. Or if he does get the neutral back, like, you said he's already, like, in the air jumping back in. Right, there we go. He's got the corner again. What's he gonna do with it? He gets the throw. Goes for a second one, but uh, there's a tech out of Larled. I... I... I have no words. I have no words for this. Gets him on the low, but no punish on either oh side. Drops the combo V-shift. You can't V-shift that. Doesn't V-break. There we go. Jump. You, that four jump got over. It's getting over the flips. Yo, he pressed buttons. Doesn't expect to V-break. Oh my god. What is he's going on? Crazy. I'm so confused. He's just doing stuff. And it's working. I am so confused right now. What you know, am I watching? We don't, clearly. What are we watching here? I don't I I I just have to watch. Five. I can't. I... Championship edition. Season 5. I have nothing to say. I merely have to watch and accept that this is in fact happening. Hire a little bit too far away to get the, the extra girl in there, but you know, like, oh, oh my, oh my god! Dancing some overheads? Oh. That's gonna die. He's dead though. What? He reset! Why would he? Why would he reset twice? He reset him twice. Mental damage. I keep twice. saying it, you know. Twice. One reset is not enough. <sighs> Great Annie though. Was waiting for it for so long. No Annie there lets the jump in go. Ooh, a dash up throw beats out the tire, you know. Fall for the frame trap, not able to catch the time. Goes for the side switch. Oh, you Santi getting the advantage off the, the tray goes to the second crowd shares and takes it over Marlin 3 0. Fucking brutal. This, this guy. What did you he know, get? One round? He got like one round. You Santi switched, and he was playing for you, and he's like, fuck that noise. He yeah, got tired of losers bracket. He wants to go back to round. And it's like, I want to win, and I'm going to fucking win. And here he is, getting in there. Commentary is slowing down because I am hella tired now. Yeah, it is. I did not get a great night.